Hey, this is John Brock with Brockworks. Today with a video about a service called Hover. And I was a longtime builder and remodeler for the last 30 years and a, and a diehard 3D modeler. There's a number of times where I've needed to capture an as-built of an existing home so we can remodel it, do new siding, do new roof, whatever, add an addition. So I've tried a number of different ways of doing this over the years, but none as easy as what I found with Hover. So check this out. I downloaded the app. I took eight pictures around the house. So from the front, uh, front right, right, rear right, rear, rear left, left, left front, right? So I did this in a matter of as long as it took me to walk around the house very quickly and hit upload. I uh, checked back maybe uh, an hour and a half later and I had a 3D model of this house that you can see on the right. Now I was doing this for my mobile, so I'll show you on the mobile device because um, that's where I first saw it. I was out on the job site, uh, this house I just actually finished up, but I was using it as a case study. And instantly I had this 3D model and I could open it up. I could, I could, I could check out different uh, uh, measurements that come along with that. Um, I was able to, to uh, change the roof to this Timberline charcoal timber, uh, HDZ shingle that I use. So it's pretty incredible. They give you a ton of information. Um, so first of all, you can see all these measurements. It's gonna show you a nice uh, report, you know, 36 page report with all the different measurements, um, links. I mean, it's incredible all the information that's in there. Um, and then all the different siding faces, roof faces, flashing details, all kinds of stuff. So really, really powerful. And then of course the 3D model that we're seeing over here on the other screen. And, uh, and then again, you could, uh, like I was saying, you could change the design of it. You could say, make this roof that uh, JF, like I was doing in the other on the phone, charcoal, because that's what we actually used. So pretty and powerful, um, pretty powerful, right? So the other thing I can do with that is I can export it, right? I'm a SketchUp guy. I want to bring this into SketchUp so I can manipulate it, right? Maybe maybe this is a house where we're going to do new siding or a new roof. Uh, maybe we're going to build a new deck in addition. So I checked it out. I came over to export and downloaded the SKP file because I'm a SketchUp guy and hit request. And the model that I got was this. So pretty incredible and pretty detailed. I actually opened up my uh, the model that I created for this house in full 3D detail and the measurements and so forth were very, very close. So now as it comes in, it's all sticky geometry. So I'm gonna just select everything, right click and say make group. Um, I like to also uh, put it on a layer list. So this put it on a layer or tag, excuse me, called house. And that way we can control its visibility as we need to. All right, all right. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually uh, put some textures to this thing, uh, so we can get our estimate. Maybe maybe they're going to take it and build a deck off of this corner and a new roof on it, or build an addition to this place. So uh, information that you can't get from Hover. You want to take it a little bit further. So I'm going to uh, texture this roof. I'm going to use the roof texture. Uh, let's get which one is that right here. I'm going to sample this roof texture. And I'm gonna go ahead and texture this roof. Reset the position on that one. So I'm just hitting all the roof faces. So it looks like a roof and then we're gonna use estimator to get our quantities. So boom, boom, boom. A little bit back there, a little bit there, a little bit there. So that's all of our roof, right? So now if I open up uh, estimator and select it, Go to materials, this roofing uh, shingles material that we've chosen. So I could say uh, roof and uh, let's say roofing, uh, let's go with, uh, maybe let's go with shingles. So how I have it in my report. All right, so shingles labor per square. And I'm gonna add in here shingles uh, per square for materials. All right, so there's my roofing pretty quickly. All right, so let's sample this metal roof. We're going to edit our model and put metal roof here, here, and there. So now we can say to take this metal texture and we'll say metal 
metal roofing labor per square and then we're going to add our metal roofing per square materials now these are items in our items database right so it's all customizable and estimator to suit your company needs all right let's sample this uh, siding texture and let's just say it's uh, we're just going with all lap siding for this example and we're just going to hit all these various faces all right doesn't take too long a ton of faces in here all right all right so now we've got our siding so I could come over to our materials with this white cladding and I could say lap let's go with uh, smart lap siding so there's our siding uh, let's use another one here and say siding labor All right so now we got our siding labor in there okay and then finally let's put the stone on there let's let's sample this stone product here and I've got stone there there kind of hitting these little areas underneath here that kind of got a little wonky in their model but that's okay incredible from eight photographs okay so from there now I'm gonna to go to the materials for that stone which was this material here and I'm gonna say stone uh, veneer materials let's see per square foot materials fine and I'm gonna add in here stone veneer for my material or for my labor and let's do one more for our sand and mortar mortar and sand so we got that so within a few minutes here we have a pretty solid estimate here I can run the report on that and there is my uh, all my roofing my stone and my siding and labor for that so all that done with taking eight photographs from around the house and then I could like I said I could expand that further and make modifications I could add the site add landscaping just tons of things you could do that you could imagine having to capture that in the field now they also have an interior version of that which I tested out uh, which I can show in another video um, but pretty incredible just using my iPhone so really cool service called hover check it out I believe that that uh, would that project would be about a hundred bucks or 150 bucks I haven't delved into it completely I'm still on the demo uh, but um, pretty exciting as much your value of your time is worth a hell of a lot more than that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Check it out.